Hello everybody, this is Sandhya Krishnan from Dynamic Living. I know for a lot of us, 2020 seems to be like the year that we want to forget. We almost want to obliterate it from the calendar and pretend it never happened. And so many of us have expressed a wish for 2021 to start. Well, I'm here to give you a ray of hope and perhaps something that will help us remember this with less trauma or, or dislike as the years go by. Science tells us that very often we, it's the last 20% of an event that we remember. Uh, I'll give you a simple example. You might have a holiday and you may have had a great time for the first five days. If your last two days had, you know, were fraught with little accidents, insect bites, a sprained knee, uh, what have you, down the line, it's those two days that are going to color the rest of your holiday. Um, we do that often with relationships that ended sourly. The last 20% will somehow cast a pall over the entire uh, uh, length of the relationship. So why don't we hack our own brains and let's try to create, get something out of 2020 that turns out to be positive, but also helps to seal in our memory that there was some good in this year as well and that it wasn't a completely wasted year for us. What I propose is yet another 100 days of focus. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have been following this for some time now and I offered it uh, for free last year as well. But I think never more has the need been more than this year. And it's a great way for us to roll into the end of the year. Now, how this is going to work is very simple and reasonably science-based. I know that a lot of us believe that 21 days is the magic number for habit formation. There are several wellness gurus that have plans based on that as well. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm very different from that. I'll just add a little bit more uh, understanding to that. The whole idea of this 21 days of magic for habit formation came from the studies of a cosmetic surgeon who found that very often it took 21 days for his patients to get adjusted to like a new uh, to their to their surgery and therefore their new body part and uh, of course we sort of we, we do realize now that what it does take is time it takes consistent effort but is it 21 days uh, usually it is a lot longer than that More, closer to 90 days but you know what it could be anywhere from 50 to I don't know 500 days <laughs> The bottom line is that each of us is unique. For a lot of us, the habit that we seek to change may be so deeply ingrained within us. Sometimes we may not even be picking the right habits or we may not have a strong enough why. It's like we need something. Um, we need like somebody to throw us a lifeline, a rope uh, or a reason that we want to pull ourselves out of what is our quicksand. The quicksand is different for each person, our own strength to pull ourselves out, the kind of rope that someone throws us is, is different, um, our reason to want to get out, very often the quicksand can be very warm and comforting and if we're sinking very slowly we may not even believe that we're sinking, we sort of have a bias and we think that it's going to stay exactly as it is. Now if you know somebody like that and if that frustrates you about somebody else, there's not very much that we can do. But if you recognize that within yourself and you want to make change within yourself, then this is the program for you. So here are the very simple rules of the 100 days of focus. First of all, we're going to use a little bit of group psychology. We're going to form an online community together. It's completely free. I'm doing this because it's helped me so much. And this is my way of giving back as well. Um, we're all going to pick one maybe two, at the very most three goals that we want to incorporate into our everyday life. Um, again, if change is hard for you, stick with one. The, the only few rules that we have is don't be over ambitious, don't look for perfection, don't think of a fail or a success. This is really just a kind of emotional, a psychological hack that we're using such that it becomes a lifestyle. Think of this as something that you want to be doing for the rest of your life. What kind of goals are these? That would depend entirely on you. Um, healthy eating, just eliminating a lot of artificial sugar, uh, maybe processed foods, 
getting in a little bit of exercise every day. Again, don't make the actual rules too hard and fast. Life is so uncertain right now. Um, while it helps to define your goal, you would like a one hour walk every day, for example. If you don't get a one hour on that day, be okay with a, with a 10 minute hit workout as well. Just be a little flexible with that. But yes, it's important to define your goals. So, like I said, pick your goals between one and three goals. We're going to ask you to write them down. Feel free to share them on the community that we create. Sharing your goals, stating it out to other people creates much greater accountability for yourself. Um, being part of that community, the more you contribute to the community, we have found very often that those that are most participative also hold themselves most accountable, end up having the maximum amount of success. So, very, uh, uh, you know, this whole universe will reward you sort of um, thinking. It's really more the commitment that you make to yourself. Is there any magical, mystical force behind this? No, it's about stating a very clear goal focusing on it for a length of time, 100 days in our case, and putting in small consistent effort on a daily basis. What I will ask you to do is the moment you wake up, I'd like you to take a moment, finish your prayers or whatever your morning ritual might be, but also give yourself two minutes to just visualize your goals. See yourself as you are when that goal has already been realized. Do the same just before you go to sleep at night. So that's two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night. And then decide what time in that day. Give yourself for sure 20 minutes. If it's a one hour walk, then obviously it's going to be an hour. But for sure, you should be spending 20 minutes a day on this goal of yours. Um, again, not a hard and fast rule. Um, I, I'm restarting the piano after several years. Um, I get in, I get in 10 minutes a day at best. Sometimes I do 20. But the but the reason I'm saying this is because when you when you say that I'm going to do this, um, you'll start off hating it, but you'll do it because you've made that promise. And very often you'll even lose track of the time. I find that some days I've been playing for like. 35 or 45 minutes even though I've told myself that I have a Netflix show to watch because you get so you get so caught up and some anything that's a little bit difficult a little bit challenging actually is what gives you flow not in fact the mindless passive enjoyment that a television show will give you so with all of this I don't want to inundate you with too much of science and psychology um, just trust the process the things that you give focus to are the things that will sort of come up for you the most in your head it's like saying that you know you suddenly think that you'd like to do a course on artificial intelligence and and you f find suddenly that the universe is sending you um, advertisements for for artificial intelligence that's not the universe that's just Google's algorithm rhythm uh, but also you open a magazine and you end up seeing an ad and you're like whoa is this serendipity is this a sign from the heavens it's not it's just that you know our brains process so much of information but when we when we highlight certain aspects of our life that we want our brain to focus on it is going to get the signal and say oh you know what you want me to look for artificial intelligence I am going to look out for it and that is the magic and that's the only real miracle that's going to happen for you you'll uh, for whatever hobby that you pick up you'll find suddenly that there were friends that you had who had a similar who had a similar goal um, you'll, you'll start finding music that you wanted to play that 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 you know you'd forgotten about all of this tap into your mem it'll tap into your memories it'll tap into your surroundings use technology by all means so if you feel ready to commit what we're going to do is starting the 22nd of September right through the 31st of December that's about 100 days we are going to embark on 100 days of focus my invitation for you is to join in to commit to have fun and let's make 2020 memorable for us thank you for watching